Hello guys, in this video I will try just to explain this idea of surprise. You know, a lot of uh, investors like investing for the long run and uh, traders like swing traders mostly, they don't believe when they see a price. Okay, an example, let's say they buy a stock at $50 and there is bad news or bad earnings to this company and the stock jumped down from 50 to 30 just an example okay now when they see this big loss they don't believe that that they lose all that much all that much money so they get hypnotized it means they look at the price and they don't understand nothing and they go to check for reasons why sometimes you go uh, online you find the stupid news like for example uh, some analysts downgrade the company it means they say oh this company will no, will have no future it's just they say okay it's not based um on true things or they are not insiders they don't know inside the company what's going on but jesus they give their opinion in their opinion some of the wall street guys use it as an excuse to short the stock okay sometimes it's earnings okay earnings also what does it mean it means that uh, the analysts say that uh, let's say the stock each share will have one dollar for this quarter for each share okay now it means you are making a dollar for each share you bought in this quarter from the earnings okay this is just something related to the company it has nothing to do with the stock but the analyst is if they say it's one dollar if it goes below one dollar like 95 cents or 70 cents or whatever which is the true earning of the company they divide it by um, the shares outstanding shares of the company so what will happen the Wall Street guys hedge funds they come and they see the news and they just hit the stock the company has nothing to do with this the company is still selling selling and there is no problem you go to the you go to this store and you will find nothing happen okay people customers are coming they uh, they buy things it's a normal day in the company but in the stock it's different the stock has lost a lot of money let's say from 50 it goes to 40 or 30 and it's a big loss for the investors and for the swing traders who are in at the time now sometimes a company like earnings and they have better earnings better than the analysts what they say so here you see that the analysts give their opinion and when they give their opinion if the if the company has done the same as what they say or better you will see that wall street guys try to buy this stock and that's why you see a gap up in the uh, in the stock okay now when people they see the gap up they don't believe and if you are not in when you see that oh you just hope oh man this stock it was 50 now it's 100 man i how how did i how i don't see that opportunity and the earnings okay so it try not to focus to focus on the hope always the price can go whatever up and whatever down so be prepared 
for that. There are some uh, news, something happened in the industry, something happened in the uh, nat national or international, sometimes it affects the stock because it's just an opinion of a trader. All the stock market that you see is just opinions. But when mutual fund has an opinion that the stock will go up, he will buy it, you will see that the stock is going up because he has too much money to spend and to buy these shares of this company. Okay? That's why before, uh, these companies, they have good relations with mutual funds. It's, you know, it's a way. And they show that they are doing good and the company is doing good and earnings are good. At least this mutual fund will buy that stock and the stock will go up and up and up. That's why you will see some stocks that are 200, 300, 500, 700. Okay, what makes them go like this? It's just because of the opinion of mutual funds. Mostly because they have too much money to spend on the stock. Now your opinion, or my opinion, or one guy opinion, you don't have that much money, so you don't influence the stock. Uh, here I'm speaking about the big stocks. Okay? I'm not speaking about penny stocks. Penny stocks you can influence yourself. A stock that it is trading at one dollar and the volume is so low, like 10,000 or 4,000, you buy 100 shares, 200 shares, 500 shares, you will, st you will see the stock going up. If other people will follow you and buy more and you sell, you will make a profit. Uh, you know, this is what the scammers, the big scammers do by their newsletter and by the, uh, the other stuff. That's why they make a lot of money. But this is not trading. This is a scam, okay? Cheating. Now, that's why we don't find analysts for this, uh, um, uh, for these penny stocks. They, they don't cover that. Small stocks, small companies, they don't cover because, it, because these companies, they, don't, they can't give money to these analysts to say good about them. They, have, they don't have money. These analysts, they make millions of dollars each year, okay, just by saying something online because they have a lot of followers and their word is, uh, is, uh, is well heard in the market. That's, this is the thing, okay? So, what is the rule that I give you here in this lesson or in this video is that don't be surprised when you see the stock go up or go down. You see a stock that it is ten dollars in one year it goes one hundred dollars and then you say yourself where where I am when this from ten dollars goes to one hundred where I am but the stock maybe you have seen it and you don't like it and it's going up each month each month each month each month at at the end at the end you will see it that it goes so high now what is the if you want to follow stocks. Put, if you like some stocks, you like some companies that you like, you know, you know these companies very well, you know that they are doing good, and you want to follow them like in investing, try to put them in, um, in a checklist, a portfolio, and follow them. When you, when you find an entry to, to buy them, buy. Okay? And I have, I have made uh, my uh, training uh, level 2, or level three will help you uh, find the stocks that go up from the resistance line. Okay, training level two and training level three. How to search for stocks uh, using Stock Screener. Now there is another training: how to buy stocks from the bottom or from the support line. This is when the industry is going down and all companies are going down, and then they will go up, like the energy stocks like uh, basic material stocks, okay? These kind of things because they have been going down for one year or two. Y you will find opportunities there. That's why you can use my training level, I think, um, uh, 12, how to buy stocks from the bottom. Now, don't be surprised to see, for example, Google is 700. It goes before to 1100. And then it goes, it, we have split, it goes to 500. You get two shares for each, each share you own. And then it's going up. Okay? All this, some they call it bubble. 
It's just something that, but it is not. It is not bubble because it stays ten years going up. People are are making million of dollars of these stocks. Okay, and the small and the other investors, the old people mostly. I'm not. I'm not um, going after uh, uh, old people, but the old people they like uh, things that go slowly, and they don't want to lose that much money. So that's why they go to financial. Uh, stocks they go to insurance and they stay the whole life with them okay they know that the bank is still the bank that will to never uh, dies uh, or go bankrupt most mostly and insurances you know they get money for free they don't do nothing they get money okay so don't be surprised when you see a stock for for me one time i know about earnings but one time, it, it just something happened to the company, and the news was so good that the stock doubled, nearly doubled. I buy, I buy, I bought before like Anak, A N A C, at seventy eight dollars. The next day, it's one thirty five. You know, it happens. Okay, so. When you see the price 135, I'm, you know, it's a good thing, but I'm not surprised. If it goes down also $10 or $15, I'm not surprised. Because you can't do nothing. It's just the price that the other traders have done. Okay? There are other people, big guys, they can, big, uh, they can buy big chunk of companies at the same time. Big chunk. They, we, I'm not speaking about... 500 uh, shares, 1,000, 10,000 shares. People are buying. Some people, they buy a lot because they have a lot of money. That's why you see these fluctuations in the prices. Okay? So, whatever you do, whatever you buy, don't be surprised. Okay? You should know what you are doing. You should know your risk. And that's it. Thank you very much and have a nice day.